good morning. Uh, yep, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou, live for you on YouTube today. Uh, thanks for watching. Yep, really appreciate it. Uh, Georgia Vandy this week, uh, and uh, you already know I've got some things to say. Uh, yep, message to Vanderbilt. Uh, but before I get to that, I, I want to ask you guys something real quick. Have you ever in your life been so mad that you had to email about it? Uh, I, I'm a pretty hot-tempered person. I, I don't have a lot of patience, like especially like in retail situations or restaurants or something like that. If I think something's not being handled correctly or I, or I feel like I'm, I'm being done wrong a, a certain kind of way, I, I will make my feelings known. But I'll do it right then and there, on the spot. Uh, you know, Mrs. Lou doesn't like it, the kids get embarrassed or, or whatever, but that's just sort of the, the way I am. But I have never been so mad that I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drive home and email. I've just never done that. I'm sure some of you have, but the level of anger that you have to reach to do that uh, has got to be pretty high. Uh, <laughs> well, somebody emailed me. <laughs> And what, I mean, there's a lot of things that make this funny. And I'm going to show you the email here in a minute. There's a lot of things that make this funny. But what, what, really, what really gets me is, if anything I do or say here on Lutube makes you mad, which, hey, that, I mean, that's, that's kind of the point of what I'm doing here. There's a comment section, right? I mean, you, people are in there 24-7 expressing their feelings one way or the other. It's real easy, as you're watching the video, to just, you know, type your response right there. But how mad do you have to be at Uncle Lou to say, forget this, X out of YouTube, either go to your computer or your email uh, app on your phone, and actually type an email to Uncle Lou. And then, after I don't respond to that email in 24 hours... Send another email asking me why I didn't respond. So I'm going to respond to you right now. Uh, here's the email. Look, look at this thing here now. Uh, get you a cape, man. You could be Superman. We. <laughs> oh, how mad were you when you when you when you thought that up, buddy? Oh, that's it. That's it. I'm typing an email to Uncle Lou. <laughs> what do you think he was doing as he was typing that email? Alabama fans, man. And you know, I haven't even really gone hard on Alabama fans all year. All I do is so, so, all I do is every other video, and this only started recently, is like I'll just refer to Alabama as average. That's it. It's like three seconds of me talking about Alabama. It's like Alabama, eh, kind of average. And then I'll go on with whatever it was I was talking about. I mean, the amount of time I, I spend... I dropped my phone. The amount of time I spend messing with South Carolina fans, Tennessee fans, hell, even Auburn fans, uh, Florida fans, I mean, you name it. None of them have gotten so mad that they had to send an email. But, but God forbid Uncle Lou takes three seconds out of his video to call Alabama average. This guy's had it up to here. He's mad as hell. He's not going to take it anymore. But what do you think he was doing as he was getting that mad to sit down and type that email? Well, I have a pretty good idea what he was doing. Uh, so I, I'll go ahead and show you right now. But this is what that guy was. This is what I think that guy was doing uh, as this scenario was unfolding here. In the play this year. 
I mean, they couldn't win when they had top ten recruiting classes and, and were buying every titles. recruit they could get their hands on. Fairborn, of course, they're not going to win now. Sixteen titles. Not even eligible for the postseason. Titles. They go from being in top ten recruiting every year. Look at the recruiting rankings <laughs> now. They're in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Nick Saban. Bear Bryant. Nick Saban, 16 titles. 16 titles. at home, though. Home <laughs> game. Pretty much anybody could beat Ole Miss like that at home. What? Alabama. Pretty average. Alabama that way. Turn it up. Fuck you, Woo! Oh, Alabama is average. Alabama's not oh, average, Woo! Well, <laughs> respect Alabama, Woo! Well, here, how's this for average, Woo? Well, how's this for so average, Woo? Well, to, to make it four and well. Just another, just another uh, average Alabama bandwagon. <laughs> My favorite part was in the email when he quoted only the years back to 2008. Of course, didn't mention the fact that UGA had beat them the three games prior to that. Of course, <laughs> the reason he didn't mention that is because he's an average Alabama bandwagon. Another proud, you know, a proud lifelong fan since 2008. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So, we play Vandy this week, and, uh, you know, thinking about it now, the way things have worked out now, uh, I think it's actually a benefit for us this year that we lost to Vanderbilt last year. You know, Vanderbilt is normally one of these games on the schedule that you kind of overlook. Um, you know, n no insult there to, to Vandy fans. I'm just being realistic about it. It's not one that typically the team or the fans would get too excited about. I mean, it's just the way it is. When you look at Georgia... Um, you know, typically year in and, and year out, you have the Tennessee game, the Florida game, maybe the Auburn game, the Georgia Tech game. You know, th those tend to be higher on the, the list for fans than, say, a Vanderbilt game or, or even the team. Um, but the fact that they beat us last year at home, on homecoming, uh, what a nightmare that was. How in the hell do you lose to Vanderbilt at home, on homecoming? But yeah, I actually think that that could work to our favor this year. <laughs> I seriously doubt the team will be overlooking them this year. And Kirby Smart seems to be doing a pretty good job of the, the whole one week at a time thing. Don't underestimate any opponent. Uh, you know, all that. We've, uh, you know, we've dominated the majority of teams we've played, even, even the, the App States and the Sanfords, uh, you know, which, again, a team you, you would tend to overlook. Uh, we've dominated everybody we've played, with the exception of Notre Dame. One point win on the road at Notre Dame, Jake Frome's first road start. But Notre Dame turned out might be a pretty good team this year. We'll see. They're four and one right now. They're only lost to UGA, uh, and they've, they've beat everybody they've played by thirty and forty points. So uh, they're definitely not the four win team that they were last year. Are they elite? Probably not. Um, but they're miles ahead of where they were last year. So that looks like a pretty good win for UGA right now. But yeah, Vanderbilt this week. So. I mean, uh, you know the deal, Vandy fans. <clears throat> say it every week to every team. Might as well say it to you now, but we'll board the plane on Friday. Fly up to Nash, Vegas. Check in a hotel. Get some rest and relaxation. Eat a good meal. Team will get up Saturday morning. And they'll be at that middle school field you call a stadium around 12 Eastern, 11 o'clock Nashville time, I think that is. But, but, the, but, but George will be there. So, if you want to, you can show up too and get you some of this, bitch.
everything.